Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to build on the last video that talked about how to transform a face-to-face -face discussion based lesson into an asynchronous learning module. So in the last video we talked about some guidelines and best practices for that transformation. In this video I'm going to show you how to actually create the module in ICON. All the nuts and bolts and click this and click that, right, that you're going to need in order to create the module. Now. The other piece of this is that in this video, I'm going to show you sort of the fanciest way to do this, right? All the bells and whistles make it look really cool, make it easy to navigate for students, right? Um, but there's a way to do it that is also good that isn't quite as intensive in terms of creating the module. So if you start watching this video and you're like, ah, oh, this feels overwhelming, just jump to part three and there I'll talk you through how to make the icon module in a way that is also very effective, but doesn't take as much sort of icon know-how on your end. So if you wanna learn, feel free to stay, stay with this video and I'll talk you through it. If that feels overwhelming, just jump to part three and I'll catch up with you there, all right? So here is my icon homepage created as we discussed in previous videos based on those best practices for setting up your icon site. Um, so if we go to course activities and assignments, it links to our modules, all right? So here's the module that we discussed in the last video made, and I'm gonna give you a tour of it first and then show you how to make it, right? So in the last video, we talked about using links and headers to make things really intuitive. So right, they go to this lesson, it says start here, right? Start this lesson. And they get to this overview page. Now this overview page is really important because it gives them a sense of direction um, of what they're gonna learn and how they're gonna learn it, right? So this first paragraph tells them what they're gonna learn. This next paragraph tells them how to navigate this module, right? Use the gray arrow at the bottom of each page to go to the next step. Um, you can always see the whole lesson by clicking modules on the left side of your screen, right? Um, and then it tells them each step in the module, which is gonna give them a sense of what to expect, right? So we're going to click that arrow and it takes us to the next page which has the video lecture that they're going to watch right and then we hit next again we go to this page that gives them the four discussion boards that they can engage in remember that we talked about the benefits of having multiple discussion boards that students either are assigned to or self-select into to create those small cohorts in order to have that sense of community and when i click into one of these discussion boards Right? It gives them instructions and then it says click here to return to the lesson, right? Once again, those links to make this really easy to navigate. Whoops, and that link is broken because I changed the title of a page in order to make it more intuitive. So user beware, this is a thing that happens. If you change the name of a page, um, the link can break. So I'm gonna hit back and I'm actually gonna fix that right now. All right, so I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna highlight this. I'm gonna click this to break the link. And then I wanna link it to the right page. Well, in this case, actually, yeah, it is a page. It's this, the page we were just on, right? And then save. And that's what worked just fine. Click here to return to the lesson. Whoop, and there I am, right? And now I should note that I'm gonna to have to do these, that same thing on these other three discussion boards, and even though it only takes a second, it can, can be kind of annoying, all right? So hit next, and here is this assignment where they're gonna watch this German Christmas commercial and then write a reflection about it, right? Now, chunking convention would say to put the commercial on a different page than the assignment um, based on those four steps that we outlined, but since I thought that students might wanna sort of refer to the video as they're writing, I decided to put it all in one. But that one is sort of an up to you kind of thing. All right. Okay, so there's the module for us. Now I'm going to show you how to create the various parts. Okay, so to create that first page, I'm going to go to pages. View all pages, that'll show me a list of all the stuff I've created. I'm going to hit this yellow plus button to create a new one. Say start here, right? And then I'm gonna put in my text that has the instructions, how to navigate the lesson, and 
an overview of the steps. Paste that in. And remember that especially when you're copy and pasting from Word, the formatting can get a little funky. You can see that happening here where for whatever reason, Icon decided to get rid of the spaces between these words. So just keep an eye out for that. Not a huge deal if you, you know, miss it, but um, just something to be aware of. So then I'm going to put in that picture um, of the tortoise and the hare, part of that creating tone for an online course that we talked about in the video on setting up your icon site that is really important. And I'm going to edit the alt text so that students using screen readers can appreciate this image. And that is very large, larger than I need it to be. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit. I'm also going to right justify it just so it integrates with the text a little more nicely. And then to put in that button, I'm going to just, once again, put in an image. And this is just a, you know, regular old arrow image that I found on the internet. Now, instead of describing the image here, you know, gray arrow pointing to the right, for students using screen readers, I'm going to make it clear that this is a button that they can click, right, and how to use it. So, right, because for my students not using screen readers, the video visual rhetoric of that will be pretty clear. But for a student using a screen reader, it might not be so clear. So I want to make sure that I make sure that they can utilize it just as easily. Okay. And then to create that link, all I do is go over to this right-hand menu and decide what I want to link it to, right? In this case, the next step of the module is this page, Engage in a Discussion Board, right? Save. Okay, so there's that page, right? This overview page for them to use to start the module. So say, I'm just going to show you sort of basically the skills that I use to create the other pages without kind of doing each one, since it's pretty much the same process over and over again. All right, but for example, to create the page with the video lecture, actually, I'm going to show you how to upload the video lecture first. So say I'd done the video lecture using, you know, Zoom or a narrated PowerPoint or some other tool, I would go over here to UI Capture. going to take a second to load. Um, and then I'm going to hit create, right? And then I can upload media. So I can upload my video lecture there. And while you could just upload your media to files the way you would upload maybe an image or a PDF, it's better to use UI Capture for a number of reasons. One, you have a limited amount of storage space in your files for a particular course. And UI Capture sort of bypasses that. It stores these big video files somewhere else so that you don't run out of storage space on your icon site. So use UI Capture when you can. Um, there are also options in here for uh, creating subtitles or closed captions for videos for students who need it and for you can record directly into UI Capture which is also nice. So here you can already see my lecture that's there. All right so to show you how to embed it in a page I'm going to go back to pages you all create page watch the video lecture all right I'm gonna give some directions here and then this is a little bit not intuitive UI capture is what's called an external tool um, and you've got to go here to um, more external tools and click UI capture like I said very confusing if you don't know it. So I'm going to show you one more time. This weird little blue V, more external tools, UI capture. It's going to take it a second. All right, then I select my video. This I don't usually mess with. Insert. And there we are, right? Um, I'm going to undo that for a second because in the next page, I had my directions, and then I had links to four different discussion posts, right? I had Beauty and the Beast. I had Finding Nemo. And I had Frozen. And I had Choose Your Own, right? And I'm not, usually I would have this like, you know, 
discussion board Beauty and the Beast, discussion board Finding Nemo, right? But for the purposes of time in this demonstration, right? So I go over here to discussions and I would link these in, right? One after another. Right? Okay. And I'm not going to save that. So that's basically how you create those pages that you're going to build in. You create discussions and assignments very similarly. So for example, you just create discussion. Right? Um, week one, Shrek as a fable. And then you can put in an image. Um, you can put in links in the same way that I told you. You can even, um, for example, embed a YouTube video, right? So I could put a YouTube video in here if I wanted. That's what I did for the German Christmas commercial, for example. Um, then you can set, you know, things like deadlines and that sort of stuff down here. And then the same for the assignments, right, which I used to create the written reflection. Right, so this is just directions with an embedded YouTube video. And I would create that by going to this plus sign once again, type in the assignment name, instructions, embed my video, decide how I wanted it to be graded, all that sort of stuff. And then I would hit save. But in this case, I'm going to hit cancel. All right, so to show you how to put this module together, once you've got all the pieces built, it's really, really easy, okay? So I'm just going to hit this yellow plus button for modules. Lesson one. All right. And then to add things to the module, I'm just going to add, click that plus sign. Then in this drop down menu, I'm going to select the type of thing I want to add, right? So my start here page was a page. Right, start here, add item, right, I'm going to publish it so that make sure students can see it. Remember, anything that's not published, they can't see. Then the next thing in the lesson was engage in this discussion board, add that. Next was, oops, I forgot, I forgot the video lecture. Um, watch this video lecture, right? I'm going to move that so that they're in order. And then the last thing that I created to embed was an assignment, right? Add that in, right? And there's your module. So that's one way to do it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make this version, um, which relies more on students being able to see it this way and less on those forward and back buttons that I made, right? Um, it relies more on them sort of navigating back to this module part each time. But I'll show you that in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching, all.